everyone! Happy Sunday and welcome to Eat, Pray, Love! Ayan, this is episode 10, 10 and we're very much excited to share to all of you tonight. Is how to fill up your love tank. Uh, parang it's a sequel of our topic last week, week. which yes. was about the five love languages. Ito yung, ito yung narealize ko kasi a lot of people message us that ngayon lang nila nalaman yung love languages. So, this time, ang topic naman natin ngayon is love tank. So, bakit ba siya naging love tank? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng love tank na yun? So, yung sinabi namin last week, which is was which was the five love languages, was taken from the book of Gary Chapman. Doctor Dr. Gary, Gary Chapman. And he to also talked about love, love tank. tank. So, yeah. para ma- ma-fill up mo yung love tank mo, kailangan may five love languages ka. Kailangan na fulfill mo yung languages ng partner mo. Whether nanay yan, tatay yan, kapatid yan, best friend yan, or asawa, or boyfriend, ganyan. So, pwede siya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, again, so we'll be, we'll be uh, talking about how to fill up your love tanks. Um, so, b- bago yan, pag-usapan muna natin, di ba? Kasi, we'll contextualize natin because she mentioned already that Dr. Gary Chapman also also talked about love tanks, no? Mm-hmm. When he talked about five the five love the five love languages so ano ba ang love tank parang alam mo yung diba sa kotse may gasolina correct. ay may tanki ka diba correct so every single time fini-fill up mo yun ng gas correct bakit kailangan mo i-fill up ng gas para, para maka-move maka-move maka-andar maka-usad yes. meron kang drive may magda-drive yes. so, meron kang it, fuel so it's like uh, love tank is like relationships diba you have to fill it up every single day kasi it empties every single day as well ang para tayo diba pagka na, na diba ang tanki natin yung buong katawan natin pagka wala tayong tubig na uuhaw tayo kailangan natin i-refill siya ng i-refill so ang so, tanong ngayon why is it important that your love tank is filled yes Eh kasi, di ba nga, alam mo, merong mga, marami, marami tayong friends na nagkakaroon ng mga relationship problems. It, eto guys, it's not just about couples and married couples or boyfriend-girlfriend. It can be relationship with your friends. It can be relationship with your parents or your siblings. Pwede siya. So, if I were you, I will tag whoever I love in this video. Para mapag-usapan para natin. Para mapag-usapan natin siya. Kasi... Ayun nga, moving forward to that question, bakit ba kailangan siya ma-fill? Kasi maraming tao nagkakaroon ng problem sa relationship. Correct. Minsan mga may mga nagre-reklamo dito na sinasabi, ay nako, yung relationship namin parang patay. Ay yung relationship namin, ang cold niya. Parang hindi na kami nag-uusap palagi. Parang pag nandyan na lang ako, okay, nandyan na ako. Pero pag wala ako, parang wala lang din naman. O kaya pag umuwi ako, parang wala lang. Or alam mo yun, parang feeling mo may patay dun sa relationship mo. Or yun nga, dead, emotionally dead. Okay, isa-isahin natin. Again, it's very important that you fill your love tank because you need to share love. Very important yun. Kasi, because that's what fuels you. That's what actually drives you. That's what motivates you to create beautiful relationship with other people. Yun talaga yun. Yes. And, and how do we know if our love tank is empty? And, or ano nangyayari kapag ka empty yung love tanks natin? Well, una-una, no, pag empty ang love tank mo, irritable ka. Oh. 'Di ba? Kasi hindi mo nakikita, ka. nagko-complain ka kasi hindi mo nakikita na mali. Correct. Hindi mo nakikita yung pagmamahal ng mga tao sa iyo. Oh, hindi oh. mo nakikita na na-appreciate ka. So, because your love tank is empty, you have negative experiences. Nagkakaroon ka ng maraming negative experiences. Nagkakaroon ng conflict. Oo, oh, tsaka 'di ba? Ano, naghahanap ka ng love sa ibang tao. Normally kapag empty talaga ang love tank mo. Naghahanap ka ng someone to fill that up. Iminsan nga kahit na hindi siya, alam mo yun, hindi siya, hindi ka aware, mm. pero yun yung lumalabas. Correct. Kaya kaya nga nagko-complain ka eh. Kaya ano ba yan yung yung ano ko boyfriend ko parang hindi hindi na ako ano, hindi na ako tinatawagan, hindi na ako pinagluluto, hindi na ako pinapansin, hindi na nagko-comment sa Facebook ko, hindi na ako pinopost sa Facebook, hindi Correct. na siya proud sa akin. Ang daming mga ano, mga complaints and all. Ibig sabihin the love tank is empty. So again, 
at the end of the day, pag empty ang love tank mo and that you're looking for love somewhere else at hindi na na-fulfill yun ng taong mahal mo, ng kapamilya mo, ng kapatid mo, ng, ng kapuso mo at hindi na yun na-fulfill. Ang nangyayari, separation. Yes. Okay. There's going to really be separation. One person who has an empty love tank will get out of that relationship. Yes. Sabi yun ni Meryl, you'll be looking for it at the wrong place. That's true. And ito yun, alam mo ako, um, naranasan ko yun before nung, ano, nung medyo heartbroken ako. Hindi naman heartbroken, nasa relationship pa ako nun, pero hindi, hindi, hindi filled up yung love tank ko. Anong ginawa ko? Nag-yossi ako, inom-inom, punta ng bar, sayaw-sayaw, clubbing, ganun. So, yun yung naghahanap ka ng, ng, ano, ng love talaga sa ibang places. Kasi nga, hindi mo nga makuha yun from ano. Ito, syempre, wala pang concept ng, ng, ano, I mean, hindi pa ako ganun ka-close kay Lord nun. So, parang, alam mo yung feeling ko, very insecure ako. Yun. Kaya maraming oh field God, really. relationships ang nangyayari. Sabi yes. ni sabi ni Mavs, when in doubt, love tank is out. Oh, I love that. When in doubt, love tank is out. That's true. So, yung factors din na nakakapag-empty ng love tank, hindi lang naman din yung negative experiences. Hindi rin din ang conflict, yeah, di ba? Hindi rin conflict. It's misunderstanding. Time, yeah, misunderstanding. Yun talaga na nakakapag-empty. Hindi na, na hindi na re-resolve. Correct. Tapos biglang, hindi lang mag-walk out, no? Hindi na mag-uusap. Mm. Tapos magiging silent na. Yes. My gosh! Yan yung, talaga. Alam mo yung parang ayaw mo na siyang pansinin pag may misunderstanding kayo. Ayaw mo na na siyang patulan or ayaw mo na siyang pag-usapan. And then yun. after that, magkakaroon na ng indifference. In, Oo, oh, indifference. Diba? Indifferent ka na sa tao. Hindi mo napapansinin. Tapos, yung tao naman, ay, bakit hindi mo ako pinapansin? Bahala ka sa buhay mo. So, nagkakaroon ng, nagkakaroon ng emptiness sa puso. Tapos, ito rin yung reason kung bakit nag-empty yung love tank is because of trust. Broken trust. Broken trust. May mga pinramis ka na hindi nagawa or may mga expectations na hindi mo na meet, de ba? So at the same time, pwede rin mag empty yung love tank mo kapag ka hindi mo napapansin yung ay hindi napapansin ng partner mo yung ginagawa niya sa iyo. Yes, oh unnoticed gosh. efforts. Yeah. Oh, yung hindi na ano ba 'yan? Nagluto ko, hindi mo lang na appreciate, ganyan. O Correct. kaya pride, tama si Joyce, pride. So ang daming mga reasons kung bakit na empty yung love tank. So And then siguro ano Walang gratitude. Oh, hindi hindi na papasalamatan, hindi, hindi nag thank you. you, hindi nag I love you, oh. yan. Or hindi rin nag-share ng affection. Yes. Kasi important yun eh. Alam mo yung when, lalo na kapag yun ang love language mo, physical touch, when you feel that your partner is not affectionate to you, may feel mo talaga parang, parang iba. Parang hindi na siya yung dati, yung naniligaw siya, hindi na siya ganun. Pag-usapan naman natin how to fill it up. Basically, yung mga nasabi namin kanina, yung mga, yung na-enumerate namin, like conflict, negative experience, uh, misunderstanding, ganyan, no affection, yung mga, yung mga yun, para ma-fill up mo yun, babalik ta rin mo lang. Paano yes. mo babalik ta rin? Kailangan mong uh, i-resolve yung conflict. I-resolve yung misunderstanding. misunderstanding. Kailangan diba? mo good, good resolve yung negative experiences oh. mo. You have to resolve that. You have to go back to the point where yes. where you have to ask yourself, why are you feeling negative? Oh. Diba? And kung kung ang nagpapafeel ng negative sa'yo is the person that's there, Hi, no? yung, yung tao na kausap mo, yung tao na ka-relationship mo, you have to confront that. Yes. At Very the same important time, talaga yun. Yes. At the same time, if you want your love tank to be filled, you have to know the language of your partner. Which yeah. wa- which was the our topic last week. Diba? Sobrang dali kapag alam mo yung love language ng partner mo, alam mo kung anong ibibigay mo. Alam That's mo kung ano rin yung matatanggap mo kasi alam din ng partner mo kung ano yung love language mo. At the same time, you have to be positive about your relationship. Yes. You have to always remember that this is, uh, your relationship is a journey. It's a process. It's a never-ending give and take. You have to work on your relationship every single day. Hindi Correct. porkit na nag- invest ka ng, ng, ano, ng feelings more emotions mo ng isang okay beses, na kayo. okay na yon Hindi. It has to be filled up every, for single, every day. single day. Hindi porket naging kayo na, okay na. Oo. Diba? You it's have to really, enough. it's, yeah, you have to really feed it, you have to really um, build it up every single time para lang yung fresh na bread eh. Mm. Na you cannot just 
I mean the fresh bread could not will not stay fresh every single time. You have to really find ways, no, of creating opportunities and making new breads. Yun talaga yun. Yes, Hindi pwedeng yun na lang yun. Hi Fe, kamusta ka? Diba? So, yeah, yeah. And our relationship is also a gift, sabi nga ni Jude. Ayan, totoo yun. Kaya kung may gift ka, kailangan pangalagaan mo yung gift na yun. That's true. Very important yun. You have to That's why you have to be grateful. One of the things that can really fill up your love tank is also gratitude. Yes. Diba? Yung kahit maliit na bagay, magpasalamat. Correct. Diba? Yung kahit na maliit na bagay, pwedeng mag-say I love you. Mm. Yung, yung gratitude kasi would lead you and would open up to many many doors eh. May maraming doors kasi ang gratitude. Gratitude can open up uh, thankfulness in your heart. Gratitude can open up uh, blessings in your heart. Gratitude can actually open up yung yung forgiveness also in your heart, di ba? Yes, gratitude. Minsan kasi yun yung nakakaligtaan natin. Kasi we always see what's negative or what's wrong with everything. So, dahil yun yung nakikita natin, we're being blinded by that. So, we have to remind ourselves that we have to thank if we have to thank your partner or your relationship even in the smallest things. Yes. Kasi nakaka-feel ng love tank yun eh. Yeah. So, kasi, ang dami na pong negative sa buhay, ang dami na pong negative ng mga tao sa paligid ninyo, dadagdag ka pa ba? Mm-mm. No? Paulit-ulit namin na sinasabi yan dito sa Eat, Pray, Love. Ang relationship, especially, no, um, when it comes to family, when it comes to brothers and sisters, when it comes to friends, when it comes to really, uh, boy-girl relationship, Mm-mm. no, kayo ang magkala, magka ano dito, kayo ang magkakampi, mm-hmm. magka-team kayo, hindi kayo magkalaban. Yes. So kayo, ano yung ways nyo na tingin nyo na ma fill up yung love tank nyo? Every single day, you have to remember na pwede siyang ma- maubos. Yes. No, how, how do I fill up your love tank? Kung tatanungin kita, kung ikaw, tatanungin ko, am I filling up your love tank? Or okay, am I so it? basahin lang natin yung mga comment nila. Ay, wow! <laughs> of course, you're filling up my love tank, as in. And How? you fill it up by um, by annoying me every single day. You fill it up by being sarcastic. To, no, no, I'm just ah, joking. See? But you're filling it up by, of course, yung saying I love you every single day. You're filling it up by by hugging me every single day. Kasi yun yung love language um, You're na. filling it up by appreciating. Mm. No, kanina nagluto Affirmation, ako. Affirmation, physical touch niya. Yes, yun kasi oh. yung love language ko talaga. So, she makes sure every single day na nafe-fill up niya yun. Kahit hirap na hirap ako mag-affirm, <laughs> Alam mo yun, talagang mapapaisip ka na huwag ka na ma-pride. Affirm mo na. Ganon. I think the best way talaga to fill up your love tank is to get it from the real source. Yes. The um, real source. Siya and, yung magbibigay ng overflowing yes. love. And that real source, no, it might be cliche for mm-hmm. some, but the real source talaga is God. Yes. No? Ako, the, ako ito, exper- hindi experience ko, pero experience, nakikita ko experiences to ng mga friends ko na na on the verge of breaking up yes. or or breaking up with their husband Or letting go. Or letting go. Yeah. Pero they held on and they worked their relationship out. Kasi alam mo yung lagi nila sinasabi, alam ko naman mahal ako ng Diyos eh. Alam Correct. ko may kaya pa akong ibigay na love. So kahit na hirap na hirap ako, magpapakumbaba ako kasi alam ko may magpagmamahal pa ako may bibigay. Dahil alam ko mahal ako ng Diyos, ibibigay ko yun sa karelasyon ko. Correct. Yun yung nagsisave ng relationship. Kasi di ba lahat naman tayo nauubusan. Mm-hmm. Lahat tayo na empty mm-hmm. Tao lang naman kasi tayo. And Oo I would naman. say that, you know, we we oh, we are really humans and lahat tayo na empty mm-hmm. But there is one person who is never empty mm-hmm. and who is always filling us up and that's yes, God. So, yes. pag pag kinukuha mo 'yon sa true source, things will be better. Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi ka naaasa sa pagmamahal ng iba lang. Correct. Diba? Aasa ka sa pagmamahal ng isang tao na I always, I always buong. remember this when I first uh, joined the feast. It was in Feast Valley Verde. Feast Pasig pa nung araw. And yung ano nila, yung parang, ano ba ang tawag doon? Yung parang tagline. Tagline nila is, Where Love Overflows. Yes. And I remember the reason why I broke up with an ex was because um, I wasn't feeling the... I, I, he wasn't feeling my love tank. 
I, I was not complaining, pero I, I was getting all the love from the Lord. Yeah. Talaga nag-overflow siya. So parang ako, ang dali ko mag-move forward, ang dali ko mag, ano, yung, yung alam mo yun, isipin na, hey, it's good for me. Tama na yung mga dark days mo na mahal ka ni Lord, may, 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 may mahal ka pang maipagbibigay. Parang may love ka pa na ibibigay. So, yeah. always remember that God has uh, overflowing love. If you feel that you are unloved, you're unappreciated, your love tank you're is not, empty. You're not, yes, yung hindi ka pinapasalamatan, uh, yeah. Always go back to the real source of love, which is God. Yeah. yeah. And I think God's love is already enough for all yes. of us. Always diba? enough. Always there is enough. enough love for everybody. Correct. So, Sabi nga nila, what the world needs, needs love. Is I love, sweet, sweet love, di ba? So, I think the best love that we could give is when we get it from the real yes. source and that's God. And we cannot give what we don't have. So, hindi kailangan na galing sa kapartner mo ang love. Hindi kailangan galing sa somewhere, there, outside. Hindi kailangan dun mang galing ang love. Kung wala, kung wala nagmamahal sa'yo, feeling mo hindi totoo yan. Kasi mahal ka ng Diyos. Kailangan mo lang siyang puntahan. Kailangan mo lang siyang kausapin. Yun. So, so yun lang. Thank you so much, no. And um, we are grateful for everyone who's joining us, no. Um, here at our Eat, Pray, Love. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nagko-comment. We really yeah, appreciate so all of you. Thank you for joining us every Sunday, mm -hmm. no. And sabi nga namin, hanggat may isang tao, no, na na nanunood sa amin, we will keep on doing this. And we are happy because we are becoming part of your life. Yes. So, I hope and I pray that you make us part of your life. You can actually subscribe and like our um, YouTube, channel. YouTube channel. That's Mike and Main Ibiernas. We are um, uploading our episodes every Monday noon time. Minsan hindi Monday. Yung isang yung last episode nyan di ko pa na upload. <laughs> Tinamon na kalimutan ko na Meryl. <laughs> so yeah, yun, so yun some, some announcements also. If you can follow us in Instagram at Charmaine Luis and at MB, MB Ibiernas. So, and we would like to also invite everyone. Mahikita nyo rin po kami every Monday, Monday po. No? Ako, 7.15 ng umaga. Ako naman po, 10 a.m. sa, sa Feast Ortigas, Ortigas District, District Facebook page. Yeah. So, samahan nyo kami. Start our day with the Lord tomorrow at 7.15 at siya at 10 a.m. Maraming maraming salamat everyone. Happy Father's Day po sa lahat ng mga dads na nandito. We're very much grateful for all of you and we continue to ask and pray that the Lord will fill your love tank so that we can spread Spread love in the world. Maraming salamat. Happy Sunday, everyone. God bless. See, ya. See you next week.